Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Gonna have a look at a few articles here, three articles, all in regards to the same subject. The subject being the death of a Joplin police corporal. Um, uh, there was an incident which happened on Tuesday and uh, it led to the death of Corporal Ben Cooper. Uh, a second officer was also severely injured and won't be able to recover we'll, we'll have a look at his details jake reed in a moment um a third officer was shot in the face um a fourth officer put themselves in in the face of danger and uh, shot and killed the culprit concerned so it's a real shame um it's two dead police officers police corporals um so this first article is just telling us that earlier today for early friday morning joplin police formed an honor escort to transport fallen officer corporal ben cooper 46 years of age um and th there's a picture of ben cooper So we can have a look at uh, the details of Officer Jake Reed. Um, he is, well, let's have a look at the second article. It'll give us uh, some more details. So this second article lets us know um, about the condition of Jake Reed. The police chief, Sloan Rowland, announced uh, in a news conference that patrol officer Jake Reed, a five-year veteran, of the Joplin Police Department was being kept alive Thursday for the purpose of organ harvesting and is expected to succumb once that is completed. So he, he will not be able to recover. After uh, Here's a quote from the police chief. After consulting with family and with their permission, we are sad to inform you that Jake will not recover from his injuries. Jake is an organ donor and plans are underway for Jake's heroic actions to bring life to people needing organ transplants. We ask that you lift up his family in prayer as they grieve. We are so proud, so thankful, and forever in debt for his service to this community. We are honored to have served with Jake. Corporal Ben Cooper and Jake Reed were the two officers who responded to the call Tuesday afternoon, reporting a disturbance at the North Park Crossing Shopping Center and were shot shortly after making contact with Anthony Felix, 40 years of age, in the parking lot, about 80 yards in front of a store. Uh, Corporal Ben Cooper died of his injuries on Tuesday, the same day, after being taken to a hospital. The culprit, Anthony Felix, who was carrying a gun when he was stopped, took the service weapon of one of the officers at some point in the confrontation and left the scene in a police car. A pursuit ensued during which he fired on and struck another police vehicle as well as wrecking the one that he stole and subsequently the culprit Anthony Felix fled on foot to 9th Street and Connecticut Avenue where he shot a third officer before being shot and killed himself. That third officer is Officer Ricky Hershey here. And he remains hosp hospitalized in serious but stable condition. Uh, he's been with the police force for more than 20 years. And um, if I understand correctly, yes, he was struck in the face. So Officer, Officer Rick Hershey pulled his patrol vehicle up in an attempt to box in the suspect to prevent his escape. Uh, the suspect fired through the patrol car window striking officer hershey in the face so officer rick hershey is in a serious but stable condition uh, but as the police chief has said he's going to face serious challenges in the days weeks months ahead um, and there's going to be presumably several surgeries to fix the damage uh, but of course we all hope and pray for his full and safe recovery Unfortunately, Jake Reed 
will not be able to recover from his injuries and uh, he's currently been kept alive for the purposes of organ harvesting he's an organ donor um, and then after that process he you know he will he will be gone he will pass now the third article tells us about um, about the officer that uh, got involved put his own life in in danger and shot and subsequently killed the culprit anthony felix so that officer has been identified as captain william davis uh, so he returned fire and struck the suspect repeatedly he's currently on administration leave as per uh, police department policy he was not injured in the incident so that's that situation um so it's obviously a tragedy one officer died on the same day another officer will not be able to recover will be dying uh, following organ harvesting uh, a third officer struck in the face facing multiple surgeries a very long um, recovery time we would expect uh, we pray that it is a full recovery um, and uh, thankfully the incident was ended uh, due to the bravery of this officer here captain william davis who shot the suspect repeatedly and, and uh, in so doing the suspect died um, so what, what a tragedy what a heinous tragedy of course condolences go to all of the victims families uh, we pray we hope that they're able to cope with this um, of course to the the police department it's going to devastate them and the local area uh, the local area the the communities within this region uh, I'm not familiar with the region um, myself uh, but it is going to be devastating when there's something as significant as this um, it really is going to have a massive emotional impact psychological impact on the community um, so there we go so i'm going to wrap things up at this point thank you for listening if you do like this topic then please do have a look at some other videos on the channel like comment subscribe uh, if you're looking for if, if you feel that you're getting a little bit down by these types of subjects if you need a mental health break and we all do from time to time then allow me to recommend a youtube channel which is uh at the end of the day bella does regular live streams normally for about an hour two hours maybe a little bit more general chit chat it's a nice kind community just trying to have a bit of adult conversation a bit of fun that type of thing um, but if you are on the hunt for a nice place to hang out at the end of the day is a good place uh, to check out so again i'll thank you for listening and uh take care